Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and this is Jumbo Capital. So today we are going to learn on how to trade chalk the light way. So most of smart money concept traders lose their money in the market because they fail to choose the varied chalk, that is change of character. Trading fake chalk has made a lot of traders lose money in the market. Why? Because you're trading what is not real. Okay. So what is chalk, by the way? Chalk stands for change of character. Chalk is the sign of reversal in the market. Chalk is the black of structure in levers direction. Why black of structure in levers direction? Because we have other kind of break of structures which are not chalk. Okay. So when you have an uptrend or downtrend, when there is a sign of reversal and it happens that you see a break of structure, that is what we call chalk. For example, in downtrend, because you are creating lower lows and lower highs, when a lower low, lower high is broken, that is what we call chalk, because lower low, I mean lower high is the structure. So when lower high is broken in downtrend, we have a chalk. And in uptrend, because you are creating higher highs and higher lows, when higher low is broken, that is what we call chalk. So we are going to see through demonstration and charts so that you can understand what I mean by a chalk. So we have two uh, types of chalk. We have bullish chalk and we have bearish chalk. So when we're talking about bullish chalk, what do we mean? This is a chalk which shows a sign of bullish trend or upward moves, as you can see here. So we were creating here lower lows and lower highs. So you can see lower high was broken here to the end. And you could see the formation of chalk because price came down here. It went up and broke this structure. This was the last structure before the structure series changed from creating this kind of lower highs to this formation of higher high. That means from downtrend to uptrend. So this is not enough when you are trading chalk. And that is the reason why most of people lose their money by trading chalk because you cannot just see this kind of thing and say like, this is chalk, so I have to buy there. No, 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 no. So I'm going to show you what are the rules that you have to follow? What are other criteria that you have to see so that you can buy at this kind of area? Okay, so that is very, very important uh, when you're trading chalk. So not every chalk is valid. This is why you have to stick to this tutorial till the end. Okay, so let's go to the second type of chalk and this is what we call bearish chalk. This shows the sign of bearish trend or downward movement. Okay, so let's see you have an uptrend, you're creating higher highs and higher lows. And you can see what has been broken there is higher low. So the last higher low was broken. And what we saw instead of having the series of uptrend, we started creating lower low and lower high. So it is normal. So after breaking this chalk, we always wait for the price to go back to the supply, to mitigate, to go back to the supply, to sell or the order block, to sell at that point. So instead of just looking at this kind of structure, I'm going to show you on how you can use other criteria, other details to have a sell trade, to confirm your chalk if it is real or it is fake. Okay. So let's go to the rules for the varied chalk. Now, the first rule is in order to have a little chalk, liquidity must be swept. That means you must see a stop hand or liquidity grabbed. Okay. So how do you know that in this uh, setup we have liquidity? Today we are going to use only these two types equal lows and equal highs. And I'm going to show you other type of liquidity 
like uh, buy stock liquidity and sell stock liquidity. But today we're going to discuss these two kind of liquidity, eco lows and eco highs. How do you know that this is liquidity? You just look at the structures, at the patterns of the candlestick that you see on your chart. And when you see you have eco lows, that means below eco lows, you have liquidity. And liquidity is what? Liquidity is just your stop loss. So this is smart guys always use your stop loss as liquidity to put the market where they want, but also to create more chances of making money. So what is eco high? This is also an area where you can find liquidity. You can call it also type of liquidity as you can see here. Okay, so let me show you through this example. Because most of people just wait for chalk and wait for the price to go back to a certain point so that they can buy, that is the reason why they lose money. For example, when you see this kind of chalk, because you have liquidity here, because above you have eco high, that means you have some liquidity above here. So you don't need to just think like, let me find a supply here or an order block so that I can wait for price to come here so that I can sell. That is long because price must go up to take the liquidity. That is the first load. So what you have to wait here, wait for the price to go and take liquidity, then wait for the price to come down to do what we call chalk. And the second chalk is what will be a little chalk. Then wait for mitigation, wait for price to go back to that supply or order block so that you can sell. So you have to wait for the credit to be taken out. And in this kind of occasion, you can just take a trade here because you have a demand here, below you can just buy here because you know these guys cannot keep going down because they have left some liquidity here above. So you can just buy here to this point here. Okay. This is very, very simple. You can only do this if you have eco highs here, if you have some liquidity above. Okay. So that is something that you have to understand, as you can see here. So what they did here, okay. This was which pair? This was um this was euro and the dd so i'm going to show you and this is 30 minutes time frame okay so you could see here we had some eco highs here above okay and here below we had our demand so most of people here could just draw this uh, order block above this one and wait for price because they had also uh, they had a chalk here so they could just wait for price to come and tap this uh, order block so that they could sell. But see what happened. Price went up to the next supply. So you are going now to do what? You are supposed to wait for price to go up, wait for it to come down, and then you could draw here. Let me show you. You could draw the order block or your supply. Okay. Then you could wait for other signs like see, this was the chalk, price went up. Then you could find an entry 50%. Then you could sell to the demand here. But not just waiting for price to come to this zone here and sell, because we had some liquidity here. We had to wait for liquidity to be swept. That is the first rule of trading chalk the light way, okay? Rule number two, chalk occurs on supply or demand of higher time frame. That is very important, as you can see here, okay? This little chalk happened. This, you know, this was just hanging. We had no any kind of uh, supply here. It was just hanging. That is why we call this is liquidity inducement. This were creating liquidity before tapping the actual supply here above. So most of nice entries that you will find uh, chalk that is for the, it must be a movement being created by supply or demand from supply or demand and not just hanging on the way like this one. This was 
due to liquidity. This was due to just creating some liquidity. There was no little chop here. Okay, so that is rule number two. After knowing that your demand or supply is being touched, then you can go to the lower time frame to find chalk that is lean. Remember to consider the liquidity being formed. As you can see here, instead of just saying this was this was a chalk, you could see this was not supposed to be a chalk. Why? Because the movement which created this chalk was not from supply or demand. That is very clear. Okay, see this movement which created the chalk. This movement which created this chalk. This was the fake chalk. Why? Because it was just hanging. It was not from here. It was not from the supply. Why? Because this was just liquidity inducement, as you can see. That's why price went up and created some eco highs, which were liquidity. And we had to wait for price to touch here. For the risk entry, you just need to sell. But for the confirm model, you could go to lower time frame and find chalk there so that you can sell. The chalk was valid because it was on higher time frame supply. So you could see this kind of entries. Okay. Instead of just seeing here, instead of just in buying on the way, you can see uh, this was the higher time frame demand for our demand. As you can see, there was liquidity taken. That is the meaning of stop hunt. First load, then we could wait for price to create chalk, which we validated. This is a stop hunt, and then we could buy lower here by uh, using our demand in lower time frame. As you can see here, what happened, I told you you could buy through this demand because we had some eco highs. This means liquidity above this demand. Anyway. Okay, so this was a short video that shows on how you can escape from this kind of fake chalk when you are trading. I hope you loved this session and it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jumbo Capitals, but also don't forget to join our Discord where we give some nice trading setups, signals, trade alerts, but also some Zoom meeting every weekend. Let me say thanks for listening, guys. Have a nice day.